Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect an Xbox controller to your iPad Pro. So any Xbox controller is supported, let's get right into it. So the first step is on the iPad Pro itself, I want you to load up the settings app. And then inside the settings, I want you to scroll down until you see general, tap into this. Then find at the top about, tap into about, and you're going to see under software version, just make sure you are running software version 14.5 or later. If you're running any of the older software versions, this tutorial may not work for you. So what you want to do is go back, tap on software update, and just update the latest version of iOS if there is a software update available. So once we are on a supported software version, what we're going to do is inside of the settings app, we're going to tap into Bluetooth. And we're going to make sure the Bluetooth has been turned on if it hasn't already. Once we've done this, what we're going to do is on the Xbox controller itself, we're going to hold down the Xbox logo until we see the white light. This may turn on your Xbox uh, uh, console at the same time. So just keep that in mind. So let's hold this down. And you can see, uh, you may have heard that my Xbox uh, console did turn on. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our controller into pairing mode. So in order to do this, you see this top button here. You're going to long press on this until this white LED starts blinking rapidly. So we'll hold this down. Once it starts blinking, you can release the button. And you're going to see under other devices, Xbox wireless controller. If you give this 10 seconds and you don't see your controller, you want to go into another menu, let's say Wi-Fi, then go back to Bluetooth and then give it a little bit and it should show up. So we'll tap into it. You're going to see pairing request, tap on pair. And just like that. Oh, it seems like it failed that time. Let's try that again. Pair. And a oh, so it seems like it's glitching. So I'm just going to turn off and turn back on the Bluetooth and see if that's going to solve the issue. You see it's about to pair, then it glitches out. So let's see. This time is it going to work? And the control itself, very glitchy here. I'm just going to make this, you know, a one cut. You're going to see this isn't, you know, the best solution. But there you go, you can see Xbox wireless controller has been connected. So it was a bit glitchy, it was connecting the disconnecting. And what I did is I turned off Bluetooth, turned it back on, and that solved the issue. So once you are connected, first thing to keep in mind is not all games support the controller. A good example of a game which does support the controller is Minecraft. So let's just give it a couple of seconds for Minecraft to load up. And you can see I can use a touch here, and I can also use the controller. So let's go back. As you can see, the Xbox option show up. You can use the D-pad, A. This is not some CGI. This is actually uh, controlling the Minecraft game. However, of course, other games will not support the controller. Therefore, even if the controller is paired, it will not work. So just keep that in mind. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.